Hello everyone, right in front of us is the latest LEGO 2023 Chinese New Year set, the Lunar New Year Parade. So this set contains 1,653 pieces and read as $170 New Zealand dollars. It comes with 18 minifigures and you get to build 3 different themed float cars. Obviously the coming in is the year of the rabbit and today we're going to take a detailed look at this set on what makes this set good and what also makes this set not as good as other previous Chinese New Year set. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe buttons. First we're going to take a detailed look at the individual flow before we look at the minifigures. Headlining the parade is the New Year themed flow. So uh, you can see here there's a big rabbit. Uh, at the front, uh, you've got this uh, printed pieces here, uh, which is the uh, red pocket envelope uh, with bigger size to fit this uh, rabbit. And then the new printed pieces over here, and I really like how they uh, do the tail for this particular rabbit. Behind the rabbit, there's lots of um, gold coins, and these are printed as well. And I think it's a great use of the sausage piece over here. And there's stand for the uh, minifigure to stand, which we're going to take a look at the minifigure later on. But this is how you can place the minifigure on top of here. You can see the lots of brick view decoration uh, around the uh, base of the float. And if you look underneath of the float, you can see the lots of gears to create the action feature, which we will take a look uh, later and you've got a uh, full view so it can move along the surface. I really enjoy the building experience as something that I never built before, so it felt really refreshing. While the structure of the base of uh, each build are very similar, but because of the uh, action feature, which I'm going to demonstrate now, uh, works slightly differently, so the placement of the gears is slightly different. And you can see, if you push the float along, you can see the rabbit start moving. I think the speed of the movement really replicate, you know, what you typically see in a festival parade. Now the common issue using you know two different gold color pieces uh, do exist here. Um, it was very minor, but you know my personal preference would be you know, using the more uh, shiny gold color uh, around the edges, but that would probably increase the cost of the set. Um, so that's okay. Uh, and at the back you do have this connectors here, which you can remove because um, uh, you can actually connect all three floats together, which I'll demonstrate after we go through all the individual float. And the second float is the uh, music themed float. You can see here the action feature, you know, the lady is uh, hitting the big drum over here, which I think it works really well. And because it's a different theme, so the overall build is quite different, although the base is quite similar. But again, if you look underneath, you can see a different uh, design for the action feature. Unfortunately, this decoration here is, is a sticker. I do wish they had printed uh, as well as uh, the decoration at the front. These are also stickers and these ones are especially hard to apply. However, this is a very cool use of the foil piece. And this is how it looks from different angle because it's a music theme. So you've got someone playing different instrument uh, at different um, space on the floor but you do see there are quite a few space here so you can easily remodel this to you know play a different kind of music and look at all this length and here you know overall there's some really nice exterior design on this particular float and if you look at the action feature again it's actually quite impressive because if you you know move the float at the same speed right like you you clearly see you know, it's designed a way to look as realistic as possible. And you can see here, if you get the arms angle right, if you move it, you can hear the minifigure hitting drum. And finally, we have the uh, Lego themed floats. You can see the movement again is different. You've got this uh, Lego store dragon, you know, spinning around on top of the float. And you can see once again underneath is a uh, different you know design for the movement and different look around the edges as well and the build is actually quite interesting because this is a lego theme the float you can see a different brick build uh, lego bricks uh, around uh, the float here um, unfortunately these are still stickers i really wish uh, you know lego do a printed pieces on 
this particular um, you know round tile since they've been using this technique in various set um, the reason because these stickers are really it's not hard to apply but it's very hard to apply to align it properly um, so if you messed up then it doesn't look as good so really think Lego should do a printed version of this uh, tile uh, otherwise this one is actually printed and the uh, dragon body uh, these are printed as well which is a first because often when Lego uh, do this uh, Lego store dragon they usually use stickers so I really appreciate they have printed pieces for the dragon here which I think I'm going to get multiple ones uh, this piece is available on uh, brick and pieces sometime next year because it's going to be a very useful piece uh, for other creations and at the back you do have you know a guy trying to light up some fireworks but I'm not sure if this is the best idea let's take another look at the action feature you can see the dragon is rotating as I mentioned earlier the floats can connect all together so you've got this piece you just need to plug it in and then you also you know adjust the the other float uh, with the same uh, manner and you can connect um, the front is a bit hard to align because of the decoration but then it's quite easy to connect um, so you just need to connect all the uh, float like this um, you can actually buy multiples and create a huge uh, parade um, just because the decoration is a bit hard to uh, make it the right angle um, but I do think you know it actually looks better individually because once you connect it all together you might not able to see um, the front of the uh, float as clear as it used to be but this is how it looks like when it's all connected it does look impressive when it's uh, connected uh, all together and you can see uh, you know it looks really cool when all the action features happen simultaneously here are the 18 mini figures including this set so it's actually split into you know three groups so you've got um, you know each group of mini figures that align to the theme of the floats and also six spectators First, we're gonna take a look at the New Year theme floats uh, mini figures. So all three mini figures are exclusive to this set and uh, new. Um, no leaks printing, unfortunately. So before we take a look at two of my favorites, we first look at the uh, rabbit costume. So instead of using the bunny ears helmet, they actually, you know, made a new uh, mold for the rabbit costume. So it looks very fitting. Uh, to the ear of the rabbit brand new um, tonsil printing which, which looks really good um, so no leg printing so none of the minifigures in this set have legs printing uh, of course you've got the rabbit uh, lantern which is you know you also got the tiger and the ox before so there's something that you know I personally definitely want to uh, collect all 12. Underneath the costume is uh, a lady. Unfortunately, there's no spare hair piece, so I assume you know this lady will have to wear the costume all day. And now we take a look at these two mini figures who are you know leading uh, the float, um, the, the leader of each float. You do get this clear piece here, so it can simulate the movement. Um, you've got the accessory which is the, the flags to indicate uh, you know fortune and uh, spring festival let's just remove that oh actually it's the full uh, material uh, let's just remove that so we can take a look at the uh, mini figures uh, in much more detail you, you can see you know these two big heads which is the same size as uh, the Thanos uh, big thick few years back um, which kind of represent um, some traditional Chinese uh, mascot during New Year's celebration what interesting is that you can actually <laughs> replace the mini figure head with the uh, mascot so you can actually have these two mini figure to have this uh, helmet on which looks pretty cute i think you know it's a great idea that they go create these two uh, new pieces also love the console printing as well so these are 
two of my favorite minifigures from this set. Here we are, we have the band from the music theme the floats. Uh, you can see different instruments. This is a brand new um, print. While the instrument is not new, it's something introduced from a earlier collectible minifigure series, but you've got this new print to represent the more traditional Chinese version of this particular instrument. All the other minifigures have, um, you know, the, the, the percussion uh, type instrument as well. What's so cool about these minifigures is the uh, utilization of different hair style from other themes. And uh, because they are banned, so they all have the same torso you can see is uh, a girl band or a girl group uh, just because you can see the curve of um, the waist and here are the three outer and facial expressions from this group of minifigure and this one is new you got similar one but this is brand new for this particular so I'm sure it will appear from other Lego set in 2023 as well but I do like this uh, facial expression really much the next group we're going to look at is the group from the Lego themed floats. You can really easily uh, see why it's a Lego themed uh, float members because you've got the classic, um, you know, castle minifigure. You've got the classic space, which is brand new purple helmet and also the uh, purple air tank. And then you've got the pirates here, and the the kind of the leading minifigures actually, you know, they have his from uh, the Lego Monkey Kid theme, which is kind of big thing um, in in China. And the other cool thing is the torso. If you look closely, if I try to come up, you can see a Lego bricks uh, printed on the torso. So it's like traditional Chinese um, outfit, but with a touch of Lego. And at the back, you can see. A, clear uh, lego brick at the back um you know i really like you know this set of minifigures you know all the parts are very useful uh, unfortunately the um, accessories these uh, stickers i wish they printed like in previous years but this time it's a sticker and finally we have the six spectators which has lots of new parts which we're going to look into the detail first we're going to take a look at the family if you're not aware, this is the exact family from the very first uh, Lego Chinese New Year set, the uh, New Year Eve dinner. So if you pay close attention to it and looking back at the previous set, then you can tell us the same member from the family. So we look at the dad here, um, you know, the scarf, the torso are uh, old, but you've got the brand new uh, minifigure head with the <laughs> rabbit glasses and he has an alternate facial expression as well which is also new with his uh, traditional glasses but a different uh, expression so this is a excellent minifigure and we really want to get you know extra uh, minifigure head and then you've got the mother here um, you know the head is not new but the torso is new um, actually the daughter is wearing the same uh, jacket uh, what's cool about this is at the back you've got printing uh, with some words here, which kind of, you know, a, a Chinese phrase uh, representing, you know, big fortunes or good fortunes that comes big. The sun here, you've got um, the hairpiece from Stranger Things, but with a different color. Obviously, it's black color. Um, very nice torso detail print. You can see it's actually Monkey King there. Nice back printing as well and you've got a new design of the uh, red pocket so uh, if you're not aware you know every year when people giving out red pockets during chinese new year um, we actually like to um, you know use a different design so this is actually pretty cool that you know each year uh, from the chinese new year set you get a new uh, red pocket design i think the kid has an outer facial expression which is not really suitable for Chinese New Year, so let's just keep his uh, happy face. Uh, the daughter, as you can see, you know, the same outfit as the mother. I think she has a really cool alternate facial expression. Um, actually, not really. It's, it's not new. Uh, it's the usual one. I think it's the other little girl that I'll show later. But you've got this sticker here, which is you know a tablet 
um, doing a Zoom call with the grandparents, and you know this kind of solidify the you know understanding that this is actually from the same family from the very first Chinese New Year set. And the final two spectators, I really like this lady here. She has the new piece, the Boba Drink, and this is actually printed, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna get a lot more from um, other upcoming set uh, very soon. Uh, this is a set from the Friends theme, with which is just selling uh, Boba Tea. Uh, you, we're gonna get a lot more of this piece here. She doesn't has, oh, she does has an outer facial expression, which is not really suitable <laughs> for um, Chinese New Year. Uh, the torso is not new. You, you're gonna already get this torso from Ferris set uh, earlier this year. And then we have the other little girl here with um, a uh, brand new. Torso as well, uh, lovely printing, and she has an outer facial expression which is new. And uh, this is also a really good outer facial expression and very useful, which really keen to get extra when the parts are available sometime next year. And this is the Lunar New Year Parade set. To be honest, at the beginning when it first announced, I was not as excited just because. A New Year Parade is not as traditional compared to other things or events that LEGO previously depicted. But in the end, I'm really happy with the end result. I think this is an excellent set, not just because, you know, the contents, but, you know, the floats, each of the floats are actually pretty impressive. I won't be surprised if LEGO going to use similar techniques to uh, create another parade for, you know, the, the Winter Village collection in the near future. And with 18 minifigures that also comes with lots of new parts, this is just excellent. Unfortunately, there are some you know stickers that I wish it's printed, but unfortunately, I think we are all spoiled from previous years that all the Chinese New Year sets, you know, without stickers. And minifigures comes with leg printings would also be preferred, but I think, you know, even without leg printings, all the minifigures are excellent, especially these two over here, because, you know, these two hats, even outside Chinese New Year, you've got tons of potential to create something really cool or really funny. And set at this size, the pricing is actually really good. For example, in New Zealand, it's like $170, which is way, way cheaper. Um, than you know other sets whether it's licensed or whether it's from city at around the same size so it's definitely a set that I would recommend to anyone because this is actually an excellent Lego set indeed now back to the important question that I mentioned you know in the beginning of the video so where does this land in all the Chinese New Year sets released so far I can tell you the top hasn't changed, it's still the New Year's Eve dinner and the second place is the uh, Lantern Festival. I think the third place and the fourth place still doesn't change, but I do rank this set higher than the I Festival, so this set does make the top five. And if you are interested in my ranking, be sure to check out my ranking video. Otherwise, do let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.